Um, this project is on optimization of seawater reverse osmosis. In particular, we want to optimize the um, electricity cost, so minimize the, the electricity requirement, and in other words, minimize the operating costs of seawater reverse osmosis. We started in February and we have done the um, fundamental modeling work and development of optimization uh, infrastructure and algorithms and we have done the preliminary design of the tool and now we're discussing with, with our partners in Fer Ferrovia El Cadagua about um, the actual tool, how, how to actually implement the tool and what they expect from the tool. in order to compete you have to have very uh, good electricity cost. Um, by this tool the, the hope is that we will be able to use more effectively the time of the engineers so th this decision tool will help the engineers um, design better plans and therefore cheaper plans and therefore be able to be more competitive. Um, so so the, the main uh, objective of, of the project are new plants. So it's the design and operation of new plants. Nevertheless, the, the tool can be applied to existing plants. However, the degrees of freedom there, the things you can vary are less, and therefore you will not see the full benefit. So and desalination, as I said before, is very energy intensive meaning you, you consume quite a bit of electricity to produce water. Um, any reduction in that electricity will mean that we need to produce less electricity, which means we will consume less fossil fuels, we will emit less uh, carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, we will emit uh, less pollutants to the atmosphere. MIT has a focal point in the last few years is energy and another focal point more recently is water and environment. This project is, in, is certainly water but it's also very close related to energy so in, 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 in that sense it, it is important. Another importance for MIT is the particularity of MIT at least in, in, in the American system is that in MIT we do both fundamental and applied work and this project exactly uses fundamental developments but wants to apply them to the real world. It will help the engineers and designers to use their time more effectively. So I think it's a paradigm how computer-aided technology can help the engineers can support the engineers uh, as opposed to rely only on how things have been done in the past, uh, on relying only on, on the engineering intuition or relying on very uh, simple calculation methodology. So having a more sophisticated computer-based tool, in my opinion, is, is a paradigm that can be applied to many um, applications, many technologies.